Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Into the Breach. All right, I'm feeling confident about the Blitzkrieg Squad, because there's no way we did this in half an hour, but we might be able to do this next one, right? Yeah, the half hour thing didn't happen, but could do that. Hold the line. Four emerging back in a single turn. So let's go here to Blobmaster, but feeling okay with this. Let's see what happens. So it's your Razor Bay. Remember the Earth Mover does take electric damage. Same with the Terraformer. Let's go with this. So if we can block spawns, that would be ideal. Anything we can do to block spawns. Probably just throwing a rock on it would do. Alright. Easy kill. Less easy. Okay, so how do we block four spawns here? Can we? The first thing we do is with the mover is wreck you, right? Yeah, so the mech has an ability to move. That makes sense. Do that. Okay. So the only way to do it with four is by moving somebody on top of it for me. Wow, that movement allowance. Wow. Wow, Lily, I'm super impressed. That's almost as good as flight. Wow, okay. Okay, what well, we could do... I mean, it's not as good as blocking a spawn, but could do is pull you down and then zap you. Yeah, we pull you down, we zap you. That kills you. Hurts you, but doesn't kill you. If I can smash you with a rock, that'll push me over a little bit, but... Uh, also kind of restricts your movement, but not by too much. I think that'll do okay. Yeah, pull you down. I mean, I could put you on top of the spawn. I'd rather not deal with that. Oh, no, I can't, actually. Never mind. Never mind. All right. Well, then you just move over here, then. And, yeah, do this. And smash you with a rock? No, no, no. We need to zap you first. Oh, which actually cancelled your attack, which is great. And now we can smash you with a rock. Okay. Only one health left. That's totally doable. Completely doable. I feel satisfied about that. Okay, and hello, Snake Man. So if you did nothing, Snake Man. Hmm, not wild about that either. It's a lot of threats. Okay, well this is still doable, right? So, throw a rock here that knocks you down. Actually, it doesn't. It doesn't knock you down at all. I smash it, it doesn't knock you down either. I can zap you, it's you all take damage. That'll hurt. I can not pull you anywhere. Oh, but I have the, I have the booster rockets, right? So I can boost here instead. That'll knock you down. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's better. Still can't block the spawns I want to block, but one thing at a time. That's definitely a good idea. Um, I could pull you over, and that would shield you. In case you get targeted because of something later. I want to come over here so I don't get hit by the electricity that's going to happen. Um, actually, this is actually great because now we can do this and that kills him. Yes, yeah, so that was a really good move on my part. That was totally on purpose and not accidental at all. Alright. And yeah, come over, bring this guy over and shield him. 
and then electric death. That looked awesome. That looks super awesome. I love the electric effects. It's just, it's so satisfying. Okay, hey guys, how you doing? Right, cannot attack the terraformer. Attack the terraformer, that's it. It's dead. We need to defend the terraformer instead. Okay, so. That's bad. Let's see. Let's see. So I'm going to just stand in the way of this. I'm okay with that. Just stand right in the way. Um. Don't really. Can't really block the spawns I want to because. Really, what we need to be able to do, we're going to block four spawns at once. First of all, we need four spawns to happen, which isn't happening here. There's only two. And secondly, we need to be able to position properly, and that's just not going to happen here either. So, we smash you with a rock. That just seems like something that's easy to do. Smash you with a rock that's one damage, you hide. Okay. How do I deal with you? I can't? Seems broken. Well, I can't pull him, right? That's impossible. Can't pull you either. Yeah, mountain being in the way. Oh, actually, the mountain doesn't have to be in the way. Right? Yeah, if I go over here, I terraform this area, this mountain goes away. And then I can pull him. Now that does mean that his damage is going to go there instead. But I don't want to be there because that's where the terraformer is going to act. It's not perfect solution. It's still one damage. Not sure that matters much. Yeah, throwing a rock there is not going to help. Throwing a rock here will. Yeah, but I think, yeah, the terraformer should knock down the mountain. Pull you over. The trouble is, I was just in a bad spot for the terraformer, right? Yeah. Terraformer can totally grab me there. I need to knock down the mountain. So really it doesn't help me to knock down the mountain though because this guy still does damage to the grid. Unless this does more damage to this than I thought. No, it only does that. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to take out the snake, though. Both snakes. I mean, the snake's actually pretty easy to take out here. The snakes, surprisingly, are not the problem. I do need to take him out, though, because I want to defend the terraformer. So, you get smashed. You come over here. You zap this guy. It's the only guy who takes damage, huh? So you think you can do something super clever, but I don't know what that's going to be. I can't move the snake, right? Yeah, that'll move me towards him, which, you know, is all entertaining and all, but it doesn't really help me. Yeah, I guess booster rockets on you would have been good, huh? Well, it wouldn't have actually helped. I'll just push him into there, but it doesn't do two damage or anything, so that wouldn't actually help me at all. Terraformer would totally murder me. Alright, don't do that. If I could somehow teleport him up here, that would actually be great, but sadly not actually really an option. Could move him over. Yeah, you know what? This guy's gonna kill him anyway. 
then how about moving him it's only gonna do two damage but we can do the move. come over here and move you over maybe or where he is this might work nope so you're taking additional damage this can happen anyway so you might as well move him over here do the terraforming might as well knock down the mountain whatever yeah if the grid's gonna take one damage it doesn't matter where it takes it it would be nice to block the spawn though but I would like him dead that won't kill him though he only do two damage right I mean, it gets him on the path to death. Oh, that also sets me on fire if I take that hit. I'm going to have to take that hit. I'd rather not be on fire. Okay. Yeah. Not satisfying, but... Sure. Terraformer, do your thing. And I guess we just pick the life we could do that. Not just day life, probably like 80 lives. We'll see. Grid defense has a chance to work, but I don't trust it. Yeah, yeah. 60 lives. 60 lives so I can block some spawns. Okay, well you go right into the terraforming zone. This that's great. Thank you very much. And I can smash you with a rock, so that's also good. So, yeah, do that. Alright, it's terraform now. And smash you with the rock. There you go. Okay, grid took a little bit of a hit. But the terraformer is protected, so on our way to another perfect island. Maybe, 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 maybe. Hey, she gets promoted. What'd you get? Plus three good defense. Okay. Let's work to 20... 23, I thought. Guess that makes us 21. Alright. Proving grounds? A little dangerous. Not sure about trains. Defend the earth mover. Block back from spawning? Yeah, sure. Why not? We can get it all done in the same turn. That'd be great. Seems unlikely right now, but you never know. Let's see what we can do. These snakes, though. Hello, snake. How you doing? That does not concern me as much as it probably should. Okay, so yeah, you're kind of blocked from doing anything because of the way things work. The hook makes kind of just in a bad way. I mean, I can zap some of you guys. If I zap you, that makes you hide, which means you can actually do something. Like, say, I stand here and pull you onto a spawn. Maybe. Another thing we can do is boost down here. That would knock you down one. And then I'd be able to pull you onto an empty spot, which is better. It means you're taking two damage this turn. One from the zap and one from the spawn. That sucks, but... Also, you're going to take one damage from scorpion hit. Can't really do much about that, though. Oh, wow. Yeah, because of buildings. Um... Okay. Oh, well, if I boost first, then I won't get hit at all, right? Oh, no, I still will, because I'll boost there to knock him down. Hmm. <laughs> I could drop a rock there that pushes you away, so that'll also block a spawn. Sadly, it still keeps me in the zapping range, though. Okay, but if I do that... 
then there's no reason to stand there, which will stop the link. That's what I want to do. Oh, well, one thing to do is I could pull you away. That would shield you. And then you can zap wherever you like. Probably stand here and zap. Okay. No, that'll work. So I'll pull you away. You zap who you like. I'm just seeing if there's any way I can kill that firefly, but I don't see a way to do it. Okay, so let's do that first. There you go. Now you're shielded. I would love to pull you up here. Or over there. Either would be great. Let's see. I can knock you onto a spawn, but that's only so-so. I could boost into a spot, but that's only so-so. No, I think we just drop the rock right there. Block the spawn. Protect the city. That's pretty good. Take that. Okay, one back prevented. Hello, snake. Back for more, eh? Really? Really? Kinda wish the shield protected you from being webbed. Okay, well... That's a thing, it just happens. Alright, if I zap here, you die, you die. Uh, if I put a rock there, you get pushed into it. Can't really prevent you from doing anything, can I? Well, if I smash a rock there, you get pushed into the drink. It's probably not necessarily a bad idea. Can't stop you from doing anything, but that's actually okay, because uh, the shield will take the hit. Sadly, I'm not really in position. Not in a good position, no. Can't even grapple anything to get in a good position. Yeah, I'm just not in a good way. I mean, I could go down here, big deal. Doesn't actually help. Because I can't grab the snake. I mean, I can grab go over towards the snake. Actually, yes, I could do that. Because that would hurt this guy. Because then we would be a conduit. Well, sometimes that's the only purpose in life. Be a conduit for others' achievements. And then go ahead and knock you into the river. Lake, whatever. There you go. We have not been blocking Vec. Need to be blocking more Vec. That was probably a lot of damage, too. Okay. You're some kind of scion. Probably a healing. Okay, that's Camilla. I don't know if you know her, but you can't, you can't grab her the way you think you can. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. We're going to block the Vec by... Okay, you're you guys are gonna zap first, then I'm gonna pull you down here. You're gonna die to that, which is good for me. Um I would love we need to block more back to that though. I need to kill you too. I stop there. No? I mean, what I could do here is stand there, have you stand there, zap here, you guys are gone. Yeah, okay, that'll satisfy the requirement. And as for you, I can just smash you with a rock, right? Yeah, okay. Not exactly what I wanted to deal with it, but I'll take what I can get. There we go. So you no longer get your bonus. We get hurt a little bit, but we satisfy the requirements. And there's only one back to deal with. And 
and that's no problem at all because we just walk. Actually, we don't even walk over. We just smash him. There you go. That's it. Not so bad. I forgot how good these guys were. They make dealing with stuff very, very simple. Maybe I should use the lightning mech for uh, for the. Well, I was gonna say a random squad, but a custom squad maybe work. Am I confident enough to do this? Maybe. Didn't sound very confident, did it? I'm gonna try it. We're so close to a perfect island, though. This would make a perfect island, maybe. Lightning storm is a good chance of making this work. Less than four mech damage is a little rough. That's the same for both of these, though. Sea turbine sinks. We'll think about the other one. Hmm. I'll put mech over here. I think you just trade out there. Maybe. Right, Lily only gets the plus to remove on the first action, or the first turn, I should say. You want to stay there? That's great. You want to stay there? No, he doesn't want to stay there. Okay. Worth a shot. Okay, killing you would be nice. Less than four mech damage. We could also stand on some spawns. That'd be pretty good. Or push the guys on spawns. So I can zap you two. Come right up to you, zap zap. You don't die to it, but we'll make sure that happens later. Can't pull you into a zapping spot, unfortunately. Can smash you, though. And I think we should. Just smash you immediately. Does that mean I can... Yeah, now I can pull you over to the place I wanted to. Okay, so now we'll push you over here. Well, thing is... Gonna cause some consternation. Causes consternation either way. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it does. Alright, zap it. And then pull this guy over. And the emergency battery is still protected. He takes one more damage. Sadly, the building is not in good shape. I wish I could have put him there. Couldn't do it, though. We didn't have the last for it. Yep. I was really hoping the grid defense would happen, but um, should not have depended on that. Okay, well, I mean, he's just gonna die immediately, okay. Can we, uh, can we block four? One. Two. Hold on. Thing is, okay. I can definitely put you there. Put a rock there, rather. But just standing on it works just as well. Put a rock on it, that's two, three, four. Right? Yes. Okay, so that satisfies that because we're doing that all on the single turn. Saves him from dying for electric damage, but he dies for other damage, so that's good for me. We block four back in a single turn. That's all we need to do, right? Yes. That's four. Huzzah! You're not doing anything. I'm sorry about that. Um, learn how to play Tiddlywinks, I guess? There we go. We did it. 
and it less than four mech damage as long as we don't take any more. You heard me there. Don't take any more damage. So you're the last mech. Um, you're not going to take any damage at all, but we kill you instantly. And wouldn't that be fun? Okay. Now, we can't take any more mech damage. I think I just said that like a dozen times. Come you step over here. You step over here, I guess. Throw this, so we can block at least one more Vec. We are dealing with four Vec next turn. Not my favorite idea in the world, but it will be the last turn. Okay, not so bad. Hey guys, scorpions, huh? And snakes. And snakes. Okay. Of course you did. Of course you did. Alright, the this I don't care about. In fact, this I can move down here, pull you down. You hurt each other. Here I'm in a pickle. I'm in a bit of a pickle. I can smash here. That'll save you from you, but not from you. Put a rock down on you. Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, that'll knock you out of the way. We don't need to kill these guys, right? We just need to make sure you don't die. Yeah, so do that. Okay. Pull you down. So you're injuring that guy. Though he's going to die anyway, so no big. But just make sure you just don't have to hurt the building is all I really care about. Okay, so yeah. Text me. Thank you very much. Um... I don't want to take any more mech damage, so I guess I come over here and attack you, and then at least have some experience. Okay, good enough. Totally take it. Alright, we kind of clustered towards the edge there. Which is not a good way to do anything, but we managed to make it work. On our way to a perfect island, not there yet. This, we could actually solidify just a perfect island. Just go for the rep, nothing else. No, in battle with less than four mech damage, we can totally pull that off. Let's do this, because I want more rep. I would kind of like this, but we can just buy the power four. Yeah, let's do this. Oh, right, the Earth Mover. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. I remember this. Right, because last time we did this with this squad, we ended up destroying the Earth Mover accidentally, didn't we? Because we thought it would be immune because we had the buildings. Yeah, so that didn't work. So don't do that this time, obviously. Okay, hello. Oh, that's pretty bad. Alright. Okay. So if I zap you, that's not actually going to hurt anything, right? It hurts you, doesn't hurt anybody else. That's what I like to hear. Um, I don't want to do anything particular, so I think just get rid of you would be enough. I'm trying to get rid of my time pod, that's just rude. Okay, I can smash you. And pull you up, I guess. Pull you all the way up wouldn't necessarily be a bad idea. So let's smash you. And then pull you up here. So don't do any damage. So it's three back to deal with next turn, but that's workable. Hey guys, 
scorpions, huh? It would have to be scorpions. Okay. Big threat. Yeah, that's a problem. We do have boosters, though. Okay, let's see. So I come over here and zap you guys, but that doesn't kill you. Zapping these guys is not an option. So I zap you guys to take a bit of damage. It doesn't save you. You throw a rock. He has a super amount of health. Boosting here is actually our best bet. So... I can't get to where I need to get to. I can shield you. That doesn't help this at all. Can I shield you? No, I don't see a shield icon for that, so no, that won't actually work. Can't zap you the way I want to. I mean, the passive is just not going to help here, especially if that guy did three damage. If they did one damage, passive would help because then that would work. So, I need to dissuade you from operating the way you think you want to operate. I just can't move you on a bad place. I can boost, but then I can't throw. I can boost there. That knocks you into the building. It's not good. Need to do more damage so you die. Sadly, there's no acid around. There's gotta be a way to do this. Let's see. I mean, zapping here would just kill the building. Then I lose the rep. Worse, I don't get the... Um, I get what I need. How about... No. No. I can't pull you down. It doesn't dissuade you from doing anything at all. I can pull myself towards it, but that doesn't actually help. Still have the movement allowance. From up here, but that doesn't help me either. Well, the snake needs to go, right? So, I mean, zapping here is a no brainer anyway. doesn't free you up, though. The webbing just screws me. Yeah, it doesn't free you. I can throw this, but he's still gonna do damage to it. Shit. Nope, I just lose out on... I mean, either way, this thing dies. Can't do anything about that. Wish I could. Can't do it. So, if it dies anyway, I'm mean, at least no grid to get hurt. That's something. Right now I have three mech damage hurt already. So, just boost out. Grab the time pod. Oh, interesting. The boost actually kills him. Didn't realize that happens. Oh, right. Because, yeah, because I'm landing there. Okay, well, that's fine by me. Grab the time pod. Terraformer's dead, or Earth Move, rather, is dead. That sucks. Can't really do much about that, so... Yeah, now your movement allowance is a little better, but... Go ahead and shield this guy up, because why the hell not? And sorry, Earth Mover. Oh, and we ended it with more than mech four. Okay, so we just lost all the objectives then. Yep, goodbye, Earth Mover. Hardly knew you. That just sucked. I just put my grapple mech in the wrong place. Okay, well, I can boost there. Or, since I've lost out on it anyway. I mean, you're not doing anything. So, you know, you zap you guys. If I do that, you die. 
So I think I boost here instead. That'll knock you aside, knock you aside. Um, I don't know what I'm going to do with you, so do this. Sorry, not this. This. There you go. Alright, um, so you can... Probably just want to move the uh, Scarab. Actually, we just move him up. No, 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 because that would kill this guy then. Otherwise, I'd totally zap him. I do not want to kill our boulder mech. Just sounds like a bad idea. I will tell you what you're going to do, man. Just go down here. And then come over here, and I guess we zap you, because you're the one who's a threat right now. Oh, the building still takes... Okay, sure. Still connected. Alright. I suppose that helps. I have nothing for you to do. Shielding the boulder mech might not be a bad idea if I can do it. This has not been a very good island. This. Really? Really? I mean, at least it's Camilla. That sucks, though. Actually kind of okay if you do that. So, I think the best thing to do here would be jump over the side. That'll push him over. And then I zap all these guys. That won't kill all of them, but it'll definitely kill him. Is there any way? Yeah, yeah, um, no, no, no. Sorry, I keep thinking this is an empty spot. It's not. I can't really do much with you. I mean, I guess I can just run. But yeah, I really can't do much. I can pull you away afterwards, I guess. For whatever reason. Yeah, okay, booster over here. The booster really saved us a couple of times. Okay. Um, yeah, then pull out so you still get the shield. That makes sense. Okay. Let's do this. Then pull you to save me. There you go. And that's decent enough, I suppose. So we didn't actually... We didn't lose any grid. Huzzah, I guess? We didn't get any rep, either. That was not exactly a great use of our time. That Earth Mover, man. Well, no, that wasn't really the Earth Mover's fault. Totally the webbing. The webbing sucks. Oh, Shield Ray. Yeah, that would have been good, like, I don't know... Last time. We don't actually have anybody who can use it, do we? We don't have a science mech. Right? That's what it says? Yeah, we don't have a science mech. So, I mean, I could put it on the lightning mech or somebody here, but I yeah, put it on you. But it takes two power to use. Now, we could do that. So we have a shield array. It's only one... Only one use per battle, but that could still be pretty freaking good. Is it nearby tiles? Nearby tiles. So putting on the boulder mech would actually not be useful. For you, it might be. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. There you go. Just keep my rifle and I'll be happy. Alright. Let's see if this works. Hello, Goo. How are you doing today? Alright, if we can destroy the Goo, we get some rep. Could happen. We can kill these guys if I get some rep. Alright, let's see. Let's see. So, moving would be a problem. <laughs> Not moving, also a problem. Alright. Boosting here would kill you. That might be okay. I can't kill you at all. I stand in the way of it, and that's only one damage, and that's not necessarily a bad idea. How about you? you can move back. Shield here. That would shield these three buildings, which might save me. I 
Hmm, I could actually boost here. The boost there that spreads you out. Hurts the goo for three damage, which is actually pretty good. Boost you over that way means you do nothing. And then I can zap the goo for two damage. Actually, that doesn't actually matter because he would hurt the goo anyway, so that would reduce it down. So I want to come over here and hurt this guy as much as possible, maybe? Or just stand on a spawn. Definitely boost, I think. Because hurting the goo is actually too good of an opportunity not to pass, to pass up. Okay, so do that part first. Boulder boost! There you go. I could shield Boulder Mech, which isn't a bad idea. I want to shield the Boulder Mech? Shield the boulder mech and put it on a spawn, which means the shield goes away immediately. But hey, one less spawn to deal with. We do that. Sure. And then... I don't want to zap you. But I could just stand on a spawn. And then we only have to deal with these guys anyway, plus whatever goos pop out of there. Pretty freaking far, though. Means I might not be able to make it back to the corporate tower. If I don't do anything, that seems like a waste. I could do a little bit of damage to you. Wouldn't be terrible. Could also trap you in that corner, but I'd be trapped in the corner anyway because this guy would be here. He's the only one we have to do anything with. Alright. Um, zapping you would not be a bad idea either. That's two damage. That'll just help. Okay. Of course it's a Scion. Hello. At least they're Scion and not webbing. Okay. That's the corporate tower. Don't know if you know this, but I need to protect that. So. We'll bring you down. Zap, zap, zap. Two goos. Two more goos down. And in fact, if I... Do something magical, I don't know what it would be. Yeah, never mind. I thought it was going to do something magical. You're gonna do one damage to that guy, but he's gonna do three damage to that. And he gets to go first. Oh, the sign's gonna regenerate first thing, too. Yep, so zapping would be good, but. So I could zap first thing, pull you down. You get zapped, you get zapped. That's an empty spot, which I need to do something with. Okay, well, you pull you down. Could stand here and put a rock there. It's not actually going to break the spawn. Because it'll mainly be a conduit. No, that's not a very good idea. Because this guy's got to die. Can he die? Couple of different ways we do this, right? So, could boost there. That pushes him over. Yeah, there's no way we're getting him to beat up the blob again. It's not going to happen. Okay. If I boost, can I boost there and drop him in the lake. Yes, I can. Okay, that's a better plan. Still want to drop this guy down. Scion's going to heal, whatever. Doesn't matter. The blobs are still going to drop. And that's the most important part. Okay, so... I mean, I can just throw a rock. I don't even have to boost. 
wind boost later if we need to. Throwing rocks doable. Okay, you're gonna hurt, but it's only one damage. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Because that guy's problematic at the best of times. Do this. Okay. And that's the end of our turn. Now, if you, Vec, want to go ahead and damage some goose for me, I'll be all for that. Any chance you want to do that for me? Hmm, not a lot of you guys protect, you know, going up against buildings, which I'm okay with. Probably should try to protect the buildings as much as possible, though. Okay, I mean, this is just too nice to pass up. Look at this. We're going to kill some goos for sure. Hurt the snake. You take one damage. Unless I can convince somebody else to be in my place, but that seems unlikely. Actually, I can. I can actually do something additional here. I pull him over so he gets also zapped. You're going to take one damage. Big deal. Um, can't smash you. You're only doing one damage though, so I can jump in front of it. If I jump in front of it, that knocks you down. I right, throw a rock in front of it. Probably even better, right? That's probably better than jumping in front of it. It's very, you know. Mr. President, no! You know, it's very much Secret Service, but not strictly necessary. Uh, there's no way I can damage you with it, right? Well, if I zap first, this guy's still alive, but then I throw a rock here, it kills him, pushes him into the lake. Yeah, that might be good. That might be good. Okay. See, so I just gotta zap first. Well, no, we do this first. Pull this guy first. Well, let's undo some moose. Okay. Pull this guy first. Now we go ahead and zap. This takes care of that requirement. You're going to need to repair, and I'm so sorry. Sorry, Camilla. Um, Alright, so then you come over here. You smash this. Push my mech around with a big deal. Most more importantly, it kills something for me. There you go. So the goo's taken care of. Just the scion left for the last turn. I'm really kind of surprised there's no Vec showing up, but I guess there were enough Vec initially. Oh, okay, there's a snake. Alright, well that's not actually a problem at all, though. We can totally wreck that snake. And smash this guy. Yeah. Yeah, we can totally do that. So, you need to step aside and just repair yourself. So make sure you're not going to get hurt by anything. Die. Die. Alright. That was so close to being a perfect island, but it wasn't. And so it goes. So close, yet so, so far away. Phase cannon. Little tempting. Phases through objects. That's a pretty good idea. The grapple doesn't work, the phase cannon might. Huh. Shock cannon. Hits two tiles, push them in opposite directions. Hmm. Also pretty tempting. Smoke drops, okay. Target strikes, okay. Did last time we play, we replaced the boulder with a targeted strike. I kind of remember that being a thing. Um, well, we can replace this. Or this. Yeah, replacing this is probably better. That's actually on the... Isn't that on the lightning mech? But these are brute weapons? These are all brute weapons. Well, not all of them. 
but we can do the targeted strike. It's free. So yeah, that could replace the passive. Or we put it on the boulder mech. Either way works. I don't think the boulder mech has anything else right now. Oh, that's a boost. That's right. We probably don't want to get rid of the boost. So the target strike is basically the same idea. With the benefit. I mean, mostly it's just the movement in all four directions that helps me out so much. So we do that with a boost, or we do that with a target strike. The target strike does have the benefit of doing damage to the thing we jump on. But only the thing we jump on, so eh. Smoke drop's not a bad idea either. Uh, mainly it's just a nullification thing. Mostly I like just like moving things around. Doing damage is pretty pretty clearly the best option. We should probably do this for the brute. Yeah, the shield's kind of a it's a neat idea, but I think let's get rid of that. Let's buy this instead. Go for the target strikes, just go for the grid defense and the reactor. The shock cannon's interesting, but no, I don't think so. Well, it's almost like a grapple, but sadly with the grapple we're being able to shield and that's actually kind of useful. Kind of wish we could shield buildings, but... Yeah, target strike out of the boosters are just too useful for you to get away when we're webbed. Yeah, yeah, the boosters are probably pretty clutch. We could replace the rock accelerator with the target strike. But that is less damage. Probably invest in it, but also uses for battle one. Right, I forgot about that. Yeah, so don't do that. Shock cannon's a little tempting, but I'm not going to do that either. No, just reactor floor. Grid power. There you go. Okay. So you get this weapon here. It's very nice, I hear. Base shield. Applies a shield to buildings that passes through. That sounds great. How about instead of shield ally, we do that instead? Shield ally is nice, but the grapple... Yeah. The grapple is more used against enemies than against allies. Or with allies, one of those. How about you? The building chain is good enough. I don't think we need to worry about anything else there. Additional damage, I think, is what we were originally going to go for, right? Yeah, install and get the additional damage. A little risky play, but I think worth it. And that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching. This has been Into the Breach on PC Universe Theory. PC Universe 2. I'll see you guys next time.